Scott, as the um, liquidity which Bob referred to is eventually withdrawn from the markets, what kind of risk does that pose? Well, uh, I think liquidity certainly was um, uh, withdrawn from the markets in, in periods throughout 2008, um, particularly in the short end of the fixed income markets. Uh, we've seen liquidity return largely to those markets as we've gotten past the first quarter of 2009. So you see uh, far greater liquidity in the markets, uh, both in the fixed income markets and I think in the uh, equity share markets. I was referring, Scott, more, more directly to the central bank-inspired uh, liquidity. As, as rates start to go up, what sort of threat is that for your um, portfolio? Well, um, we've seen rates start to come up in, uh, here in Australia a bit. Um, we're still seeing rates in the U.S. Um, uh, being held at a very low level uh, with an eye toward trying to uh, ensure that we don't dampen economic growth uh, in any way, shape, or form. I think the primary um, bias in the United States uh, as it relates to interest rates uh, is to maintain a low level uh, in order to balance off the need to kind of recover the economy. I think in other parts of the world where you see economic activity rebounding more uh, robustly, uh, such as Australia or in China, uh, clearly you're going to start to see rates um, uh, potentially edge up a bit. Uh, but I think when you look at rates still on a historical basis, they're extremely low, uh, still um, uh, real positives for debt financing, but they do create a bit of a, a quandary for investors looking for yield uh, because there aren't a lot of yield opportunities out there in the fixed income markets, uh, which has led, I think, some to um, reassess their appetite for risk in the form of equities. How long do you think these rates will stay at these levels in the States? Well, I think it's really going to be a reaction to um, how quickly we see economic activity heat up. Um, I think, uh, you know, the spread between real rates uh, and inflation is still uh, within kind of the low levels historically. Um, and I think as long as we don't see a pickup, a significant pickup in inflation, it's likely we'll see rates uh, maintain a, a relatively uh, low level.